Hey mom, another uh, little video talking to you about your iPad and uh, one of the really cool things about this device is that it does do books and magazines and movies. So let's look at, um, I put made a little folder here called books and you click on it and it gives you all these different places where you can um, basically uh, do a little book reading. The one that I use the most is the Kindle books. Now um, they do give you some free books with this. Uh, let's go to uh, Treasure Island, and as you can see, you know, it's just a kind of a normal type book. You just flick it like a book. Now, uh, if, let's say that the text is way too small. I touch the screen, and it gives me some options, and so if I want the text to be bigger, I hit the A here, and then you can see I can make a jumbo, medium, Smaller, 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 smaller. And so for you, you probably want to have about that big. That's a pretty good thing. Um, you also have a lightness and control if you want to, depending on what kind of room you're in. Some people, and I kind of prefer this, here's a sepia, and that makes it a little bit um, darker background, so it's not, you know, you're not looking at a white paper. And then sometimes, like late at night, it might be even uh, more comfortable to read white text on, on black. So that's... Um, using the uh, Kindle book reader. So I click it and it gives me options. Um, I can go back to my library up here in the corner and there's a library of some free books. Now usually you have to purchase the books on Kindle and when you do that, shopping Kindle, it's going to take you to the web browser, which we actually looked at earlier. And then, you know, you go there and you go ahead and, and you can purchase books that will automatically be downloaded here. Um, so that's the Kindle the Kindle, iBooks, um, and Google Books, are they're all virtually the same, Kobo Books. They're all virtually, you know, they're, they have uh, very, very similar kind of features as far as trying to find stuff um, and try to buy things. One thing that I kind of discovered, and this is, this is something you're going to have to experiment on, is um, you can check out books uh, from your local library without going to the library. Obviously, you have to have a library account. So the first thing for any of these to work would be to go to your local library. And I've selected um, uh, the Prescott Valley Library. Is this one PV Library? And then uh, Long Beach Library. So when you're in Long Beach, uh, we could probably take you down there and get you a, a card. And then uh, one from uh, Mission Viejo. So let's look at the one from Prescott Valley. And um, so here are the selection of the books. Not all the books are that, you know, have that great of a selection. And sometimes what you'll actually have is you'll have audiobooks, which are even cooler. Um, but up here in the corner is kind of a navigation. You'll have to log in. So obviously that will be, that will, oops, actually it's the opposite corner. To log in, you will need, see it's asking you for which library. So we're going to click on it. Here's the list. Let's say, so I click on the Prescott Valley Library. Then it's asking for your library card number and your PIN. So when you go to these libraries, they're going to give you a, a, that, and then you'll be able to put that information in. And then once you've logged in, then you should be able to, you know, browse the library for whatever it is that you're, you're looking for. And it should have some way for you to go ahead and download onto your device. Again, this is a, it's a little bit clunky. It's going to take a little bit of experimentation. But obviously, I'm thinking that this is one of the better options is for you to be able to check out books from the library without even going to the library. Um, so kind of, a, kind of a cool option. I haven't been able to experiment that much because I'm a little bit spoiled with my um, iPad. I went, uh, I've been downloading a lot of Amazon books, so that's kind of cool. Um, and I kind of like that, but one of the, it's one of those sorts of things um, where you can get a chance to enjoy a little bit of reading, you know. And then again, if you flip it this way, then it, it, it flips that way, and it's just a it's just a neat op op opportunity. Uh, again, this is one of those kind of things where you kind of have to manually select how big you want your text to be, and then you can enjoy it that way. Okay. Um, iBooks, I have in, is, there it is, what that? Let's see, collections, books. 
So I have some of the, here's the Tale of Two Cities and iBook version. Very, very beautiful um, kind of working with this. It's very much like, you know, reading a, a regular book. Now with these, yeah, up here in the corner is how I might make it a little bit bigger. So bigger, bigger, bigger. So you can, you know, go ahead and make it so that you're very comfortable with the screen. Um, turn this sepia on in the background. Change the font if I want to look at it. And I want it to be using this font. You know, you pick your fonts. It's kind of a, it's kind of a cool option. So um, granted, you've probably got a lot of books that you have at home that you want to use already. But this is also another option for you to using your iPad. Again, it's um, some people have complained that the iPad is a little bit heavy. It is heavier than the Kindle. Um, it doesn't work really well outside, but I don't imagine you spending too much time reading outside. Um, but it's about, about as heavy as a hardback book. So there you go. Again, getting out of these options. Hit the home screen. Then we're out. Then we're into our normal thing. So I hope you get a chance to enjoy some of the... Um, opportunities to do a little bit of reading with your iPad.